Okay, so in this video we're going to download and install TI Connect. So we're going to a web browser. So in Ecosia we're going to type in TI Connect and search for that. TI hyphen connect. When we find our search results, we're going to look for one from TI.com. So that first result is from TI. We'll click on it. We're going to then download the software. It's going to give us a choice between two different versions, TI Connect and TI Connect CE. So we're going to see the difference. In this video, we're going to download and install TI Connect. We'll have another video for TI Connect CE. Um, here are the download links. So there's the Windows link for English, Macintosh right above it. If you're using Linux, get in touch with me. Below that are the introduction manuals. We click on download. We're going to save the file. Notice that it's already downloading in the upper right. So we'll go up there, click on the download tab. I open the folder so I can see what's downloaded. Then we double click on it that will invoke the download. So here it is starting up the installer and you can see that little progress circle around the arrow. So we'll click Next. We'll agree to everything. So we accept the license and click, click Next. That looks like as good a place as anywhere to save it. And then we'll go through the process of installing it. So this is putting this application on your computer. You'll then use the cord that came with your calculator or a USB cord to connect your computer to your calculator. And I'll show you how that works after we've got TI Connect installed. So it's, it's still installing right now. And two seconds remaining, but still installing. And it says it's successfully installed, so that's good. So we'll finish that. And now we've got TI Connect installed on our machine. So let's go and find it. Let's minimize the web browser. Notice that it's created a shortcut on the desktop. If you click on that, it pops TI Connect. Okay, now that we've downloaded and installed TI Connect, we're now going to go back into the browser, go to My Open Math and download the two applications. So you're seeing the amount of courses that I have open at the moment. So I'll go to the student side. Make sure you've got class resources open. So notice how that toggles that arrow up and down. And then scroll down to Bell and Fit Test. When you click on them, they'll download. So we're going to save these files. And notice it will download into the same place that the application did. Now we're downloading Fit Test. It's downloaded now, so let's go up there and open that folder so we can see where these two applications went. Let's minimize the browser, and just so that it's easy to tell where things are, let's drag both of these to the desktop. So here's the calculator applications, not yet on our calculator, but on their way, now on the desktop. We're now going to click on TI Connect. Make sure that your calculator is connected with whatever cable it came with, um, a USB cable, and select devices. So also make sure that that uh, is not only plugged in, but that the calculator is on. It'll search forever if you haven't turned it on. So we're, I've got it plugged in. I'm now turning it on. It's still searching. Uh, I might have to press refresh to have it find it. But the calculator is now connected via the USB cord to the computer. I'm in TI Connect. I'm using Send to the TI device, and I'm selecting the device. So it hasn't found it. I should have turned it on before I connected it and before I pressed Send to TI device. So I think I'm going to have to press Refresh. And there it is, USB connection a TI-84. So I'm going to select that. Notice that for my TI-84, TI Connect works fine. I'm now going to go to the desktop and select the two applications. So I'm control clicking those and there they are. And it looks like they're headed to RAM, which is exactly where they should go to. So I'm going to click send to device. Now I already have these on my calculator, so I'll see a warning screen saying, are you sure you want to write over these? 
you do not have it on your device yet, or if they became corrupted, it might think that you have it on your device, but you might want to reinstall it. So we're starting those transfers, and you can see the um, computer on the left and the calculator on the right, and those files being transferred from the computer to the calculator. So that's being downloaded. It'll discover that they're already on the calculator in a few seconds, and I'll have to agree to overwrite them. So yeah, let's replace that. And then the progress bar will actually appear, showing that the files are being sent. And the first of the files is being sent. And hopefully the second one will be sent soon. So I will not, I'll show you where they are in the calculator once we um, get into, there's the progress bar for the first and there's the progress bar for the second. So now we have these two applications on our calculator. So now we're going to check that the program was actually in start on, on our calculator. So we're gonna click on program. And notice that Bell appears as a program now. We can launch it by pressing enter and then enter again. Notice that it's asking us questions from chapter six. If we want to get out of a program, you can always press second mode to quit and then clear just to clear the home screen. But inside of programs, you can see that Bell was successfully installed. Now there's a chance that TI Connect won't work for you, in which case you need to go back to TI's website click on see the difference so that you can learn more about TI Connect CE. And then on that screen, notice that there's a choice for downloading Windows. Right below that was Mac. And then here are our choices. We're going to download the executable file, the EXE, that top choice. So here it is downloading. We're going to save that file. It's going to go to the same place, our downloads menu. It's downloading in the upper right as we speak, so you can see that blue progress bar advancing up there. And when it downloads, we're going to install it just like we did TI Connect. You only need to do this if TI Connect didn't work for you and you need the CE version. So it looks like it's now downloaded. So let's click on that, open the download window. Let's go into TI Connect CE. Let's invoke that launcher by double clicking on it. Okay, so it is now preparing to install. So here's the installation wizard. We'll go next. That looks like a perfectly fine place to put it. We'll do a, a basic install. And it's now creating that installation. and we're definitely going to allow it to install everything it needs to make it work. And now it's finished, so we will agree to that. Uh, the, the installer has um, shut itself off. Let's close that and minimize the browser. Okay, so now we've got TI Connect on our desktop. We'll do double click on the shortcut and load TI Connect CE. Our calculator is attached by a USB, so it's and it's on, so we can see that it has just appeared. Now one of the most important things to do is to click away from that screen capture, that camera icon, and click on the file icon. And now you can send files from the computer to your calculator. So we're going to select Bell and Fit Test. And you don't have to do them both at the same time, but you certainly can. And we're going to make sure those are being sent to RAM, not to archive. And they are now being installed on our calculator. Of course, I already have them installed, so I'm going to agree to replace them just so we can see the whole process. And there it is. It's working away. Let's scroll down and see those. So these will be um, programs. So I'm looking for, well, there's Bayes and Benford. Had those installed already. And there's FitTest and Bell. So already on our calculators. So if you needed to, there's the instructions for using